YouTube, what's up? Yo, bro nation, welcome back to the channel. We are now reviewing It Chapter 2 from 2019. Of course, Bill Skarsgård as Pennywise does return. And this is the kids now grown up 27 years later, uh, taking place in the year 2016, where the first one took place in the 80s, which I think I have an It review. If I do, the link's going to pop up right now. I don't really remember. I'd have to look back at my catalog. I don't remember if I reviewed this or not. Uh, if I didn't, I definitely should in the future. But uh, this stars Jessica Chastain, James McAvoy, Bill Hader, uh, cameo by Stephen King, uh, James Ransom, who, who is in Sinister, uh, and a very underrated actor, and Isaiah Mustafa, who plays a older Mike. Of course... The kids return in this movie as well. So you have you have Finn Wolfhard, you have Sophia Lillis, uh, Jaden Martell, Jeremy Ray Taylor, Wyatt Olaf, uh, is it Jack Jack Dylan Grazer? Um, and you get uh, Chosen Jacobs playing younger Mike. Uh, the whole cast is back for this this the movie and. While the first one was this huge hit, everyone, critics and, you know, fans both liked it. I think it's got a really good Rotten Tomato score. This one was kind of a step down. They tried to cram a lot into two hours. Uh, I personally still really enjoyed this movie. Personally. Oh, and Andy Bean uh, plays an older Stanley, but he's only in the movie for like three, four total scenes. It's really not a lot. Um... So let me go over the positives real fast. The positives and no spoilers. I'm like, well, there probably will be spoilers. If you know the story of it, you kind of already know what happens. Uh, so I like the way they were able to blend the kids in, you know, them being young again that summer after Pennywise. I think it's after Pennywise goes away, maybe a little bit while he's still there. There's definitely some references to what happened up to uh, them meeting him some of what happened after, but the way they were able to blend in the kids with the adults to kind of contrast what's going on present day versus the past when they were kids is really done well. Um, one nitpick about that though, kind of a negative, uh, the CGI on some of them kids was terrible. Obviously they grew up, you know, you had to do something right. So that wasn't really all that... T it wasn't terrible, but, like, with Finn Wolfhard, God, that was not great. Him and, um, the younger Ben. E. Uh, some other things I thought was really good. The acting overall. You know, the kids still did a great job. The adults were great. Bill Skarsgård, I... Look, look, I mean... I love the original It movie, the TV miniseries. I love that thing. And I thought Tim Curry was excellent as Pennywise. But obviously it was the 90s. They were playing it up for kind of kind of to be funny, to make him kind of hee hee hee, scary, but really, you know, comical. I love the way Bill Skarsgård just brings this, this, I don't know, not funny, fear but just this uneasiness to the character you just feel very very uneasy about him just the way he looks and how he'll drool and which wasn't intentional it just happened because of the the prosthetics and the teeth in his mouth and etc but i just i love that and the way he played off and then how the adults were able to play off of him the way the children play off of him in the first movie is all really great and i really Really did enjoy all of that. I did. Um, some other stuff that I thought was really good was just like the settings and how they were able to adapt a lot of the stuff from the book. Like the, the you know, restaurant when they first get back to Derry. Um, the way they go and go to these individual places to find that thing that represents, you know, that summer, right? What you know, their little pieces, their tokens. I can't remember the name of what it was, but the way they were able to go and get that stuff as well. I thoroughly enjoyed that. And, you know, 
overall, I think the story was really good for an adaptation. Um, but I do have negatives. <laughs> I do have some negatives about this movie. Um, and it also goes to the adaptation of it. Um, there were some things that were left out. The, you know, the flying turtle. You know, the space turtle. You know, they, they, they have things that represent the turtle and everything... But the turtle's never directly involved. Um, thank good they leave out a particular scene from this movie. I'll thank them for that. Uh, if you know, you know. If you don't, you're welcome to look it up. Um, that would, you know, that'd be a gripe. Again, the CG on the kids. Uh, um, the story did feel choppy at times. There was points where I was just like, ah. Like, when... Um, when older Bill is going, you know, the cho some of the choices the characters make don't make a lot of sense. Bill going after that little kid at the carnival, but like not telling nobody what's going on, even though, hey, we all need to stay together, blah, blah, blah. That kind of didn't, didn't work for me. It's like, well, Bill was all about keeping everyone together to, to do this. Why would he all of a sudden make this choice? I get it's supposed to be because of Georgie. I understand it was like the post-traumatic stress or whatever. I I understand, but it still just kind of to me was like, mm. um, the dream sequence was kind of too much for me. Uh, great information, the backstory, how they were able to feed you, how Pennywise came about, and all that stuff was nice. However, then for Mike to kind of turn on everyone. I don't feel like that worked. I don't remember if that's a part of the book. It could have been just something they did themselves. Just didn't work for me. Um, there was one other thing. Because th that is more or less pretty much everything I had a real issue with concerning the movie. But there was one other thing that I, I just thought about that I really did enjoy. So, you know... You, you got the, the relationship between um, Eddie and um, Eddie and Richie, right? You know, you get to see Richie younger, you know, with a friend playing coins and he gets made fun of and you don't really think about it. You find out that his token is a coin from the arcade machine that he happens to go get. But you find out that, there's, that, that, that they expound upon that. And it, it's kind of sort of like a callback to the beginning of the movie which I think was brilliantly done with the gay couple and how all that was done and played out and how Pennywise shows no discrimination good for him um, and how how cruel the people were and and you see that during the present day concerning Richie and you kind of see like maybe Richie was really did love Eddie it, it, more than just a brother and they kind of play with the idea of, you know, Richie was gay. And I love that. I love the fact that they are open about that. And I definitely don't remember that being in the book. But the way Bill Hader plays off that scene at the end of the movie when Eddie is dead and there's nothing they can do about it. And how he just doesn't want to leave him. And, and you find out that, oh my god, he's gay. They don't outright say it, but it's very heavily implied that he loves this man. And is, like I said, more than just a brother. Of course, James Ransone and Bill Hader played off well with each other, just like the kids did. Uh, Finn Wolfhard and... Um, I'm going to look at him up. I can't remember the kid's name. Uh, Jack Dylan Grazer, who plays young Eddie as well. The, the, their chemistry is just because the kid's chemistry was. So it kind of puts everything with them in a new light. You know, him, especially, you know... Richie always being overly about, oh, women, oh, sex time. Like, it makes more sense when you see it in the sequel. But I just, I loved that. I loved how how they did that. I thought it was brilliant. Br brilliantly done, <laughs> if I could say. If I could get the words out. So, I thought it was great. You get a cameo from Stephen King. Um, I will say, maybe another issue I had is the Beverly-Ben relationship. I feel like it was done better in the miniseries. You know, she literally made Ben her second choice in this movie. 
She made him second choice. She was all about Bill. Even though Bill had a wife. And see, that's something else I just thought about. Bill's wife isn't really even in this movie. She's not. You know, they more or less cut her out uh, of the movie where the miniseries had her captured, etc. And maybe it was too much. Maybe it's just time constraints cutting stuff. But um, they cut that stuff out. Okay. But that relationship with Beverly and Ben, I just, I wasn't for it. I don't feel like it was as good as the the original miniseries. But that's just my opinion. Maybe maybe you'll think, I think it was better. And that's cool if you do. It just didn't work for me. At that time, in 2019, just didn't work for me. So, But, yeah. Otherwise, really enjoyable movie. I, I give this, I, I give this a solid 8 out of 10 for a score. Like I said, not perfect. There, there's some things that I thought they did great. Some things I thought they didn't do very good at all. And some stuff that was just kind of in the middle. Uh, but let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Give me your thoughts. I'm really curious to know what you think. But I'm Zach. This is the channel. It's, it's spooky month. It's spooky month. It's spooky month. Everyone have a really good time. Um, <laughs> I don't remember what I was going to say. I really kind of forgot there was something I was going to tell you guys. But it is what it is, I guess. So, but that's that's uh oh yeah crown jewel so i'm supposed to recruit re review crown jewel this thursday uh it's gonna be a morning pay-per-view because it's in saudi arabia i will not be reviewing it right after the show i have some stuff meetings for work that i have to go attend so big boss stuff right i have to be there for that yay me um so i have this house meeting that i have to go to for all the houses and I will not be available. I'm still going to review the show. After my meetings and stuff, I'll catch it as soon as I can. Uh, once I'm home that night, I will probably go ahead and review it and go as soon as work is over. So that's the plan right now is to review it after work so you guys can get my full thoughts. It may not even be like, match complete match breakdown it might be like okay so match happened here's a highlight here's what i thought of the match it's not probably gonna be a very quick review but it will have a review out later thursday night early friday morning because i think i work till midnight so i might just record it post it early friday morning for y'all to see we'll see right we'll see but yeah that's gonna do it for me guys have a great monday and I will see all of you for that review. Have a fantastic day. Just like I said. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Stay safe. S stay safe, stay healthy, and above all else, join the nation. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. <laughs>